Kevin with Demolition Parts, and today we're going to talk about the Rolls V2 hub and how to switch it from a right side drive to a left side drive using the switch drive system. Now the Rolls V2 hub comes in a, a male axle as well as a female axle, but today we're going to be working with the male axle. Alright, so we've already got the simplest part done by taking off the axle nuts and washers. So the next thing we have to do is take the drive side cone nut off. Now to do that, we'll take the Allen key insert. It goes to an 8mm Allen key and we're going to put it in to the non-drive side, fit it in, take an adjustable wrench, put it on the cone nut on the drive side, and loosen up the drive side cone nut. Now one thing you'll notice with this cone nut is there's a rubber washer that goes around the outside of the cone nut, and what that does is it sits just on the protruding part on the outside of the driver. It basically protects the driver and the bushing from getting any dirt or dust or anything like that in it. We'll slide the driver out. One thing you'll notice on the inside of the driver, you'll notice a diagram that has right to left and shows which way the paws go for which direction. So right now this hub is set up for right hand drive. So we're just gonna flip all the paws and all the springs over to left side drive. Each paw and each spring is individual. So what we'll do is we'll take the bushing out of the inside of the driver. We'll slide that out. Set that aside, take a little bit of washer that protects those paws and springs out, and then we'll start pulling each paw and spring out. And so that's what the paw looks like. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a curve on it, and that curve is going to go around and face on the inside of the driver. So we'll set those aside. You can take each paw out and set them aside in a cup or something like that so you don't lose them. And once we've taken each paw out, we'll start to pull the springs out. And I usually use just take them out with my fingernail. They should just slide right out, and so I can keep track of which way they go. I take the spring out one at a time and flip them one at a time. So I'll go ahead and flip that one so that I know that's the direction I need to go. So if I, don't, if I take them all out at the same time, I could lose track of which direction they started out in. All right, so now we've got them all facing the right direction for a left side drive. And if you'll notice, it's, it matches up with the diagram. So we'll take the washer and the bushing, slide it right back in the driver, and then set the driver aside for now. And we'll go back to the hub shell, and there's a ratchet ring right inside that's directional. So what we need to do is take the C-clip out that holds the ratchet ring in, and take the ratchet ring out and flip that over so it's directional to the left-hand side. So let's start to remove the C-clip. All right, so now we've got our C-clip removed. Set that aside, we'll remember where it is. Pop the ratchet ring out. The ratchet ring has grooves on the back side, so it just slides right back in like a puzzle piece. And we'll flip it around so that it's directional to the left side. Slide it right back in its place. Take the C-clip, reinstall that. Now that's holding the ratchet ring back inside. Take the driver, stick it right back in the hub. Now you'll notice we've got a left side drive hub. So now we'll just put our drive side cone back on and make sure that the rubber flange is facing the driver and make sure as it gets close to the driver that it doesn't wrinkle up or get caught in between the cone nut and the driver so that it's sitting right flush on top of the driver to protect it from any dust. Go back to our Allen key, take the adjustable wrench, put it on the drive side, put it just a little bit past hand tight and put our axle nuts back on. All right, so we got the axle nuts and washers back on, and we're back to square one. Go to demolitionparts.com for more info.